All right, it is time to find out all about our new character, Ilex the Ibex. Ilex, Ibex. Can you say Ilex, Ibex? So get your word building pace, word building pace, and turn it to page 21. 2 1, 21. Here is Ilex, Ibex. Who do you think that is? What do you see there? Look at their horns. Hmm? All right. Let's find out all about Ilex, Ibex. Ma! Ma! cried Ilex, Ibex excitedly. Ma! Ma! When real Ibexes make noise, it sounds like Mama, you know. When are they coming? When will our special company get here? I can't wait. Oh, Ilex Ibex, said Mama Ibex. I'm glad you are excited about the missionaries coming. They will spend the night at our house tonight. You will have to wait, though, Ilex Ibex. The missionaries will not arrive until Papa Ibex gets home from his job at the fire station. Ilex Ibex's father was a fireman. Ilex Ibex knew Papa Ibex would not come home until tonight. Okay, I must keep waiting, laughed Ilex Ibex. I'm so excited. I like to find out about missionaries. I like to find ways we can help the missionaries, too. Yes, Ilex Ibex, nodded Mama Ibex. We will make many things tonight. We will find out many things tonight. Why don't you invite your friend, Irene, over to play for a while right now? That might make the time fly by faster. Ilex Ibex smiled at Mama Ibex as he went to find Irene. Irene and I like to ride our bikes together, said Ilex Ibex. Soon, Ilex Ibex and Irene were climbing on their bicycles. Then they went riding up and down the sidewalk in front of the Ilex Ibex's house. I'm having a fine time, Irene called to Ilex Ibex. I like to ride my bike. I like to ride my bike, too answered Ilex Ibex in a voice that was a little shaky. Ilex Ibex had just learned how to ride a bicycle a little while ago. Papa Ibex and Mama Ibex had guided. Guided is another word for helped. They had guided, helped Ilex Ibex carefully up and down the driveway until he had learned to ride his bicycle all by himself. Ilex Ibex was riding carefully. Ilex Ibex was doing just fine. Oh, look at that. Look at page 22. Oh, Ilex and Irene, they're riding their bicycles, aren't they? Page 22. Oh, a nice, bright, sunshiny day to be outside riding your bicycle. Come on, Ilex Ibex, said Irene. Let's ride. Let's ride right past that apple tree. And Irene went riding away fast. Uh, no, no, cried Ilex Ibex excitedly as Irene went riding away. Our parents have told us that we must not ride past the apple tree. Ilex Ibex had to ride his bike quite fast to catch up with Irene. Irene had stopped at the apple tree to wait for Ilex Ibex. Ilex Ibex, asked Irene, could we tell our parents we did not go past the apple tree? Mm. Ilex Ibex shook his head and said, never, never. We must never, never say things that are not true. Ilex Ibex reminded Irene kindly, remember, never, never tell a lie. Never, never. Tell a lie. Irene thought for a minute. Alex Ibex, you are right, Irene said slowly. Never, never tell a lie. I'm ready to ride, replied Eileen Ibex. 
Let's ride back and forth between my house and your house. Let's ride back and forth between my house and the apple tree. So Ilex Ibex and Irene went riding for a long, happy time. Ilex Ibex and Irene did not ride past the apple tree. Later, the two little Ibexes stopped to rest beside the apple tree. Beside it, not past it. Oh, I am quite tired, sighed Ilex Ibex. We must have ridden a mile. I'll tell you a story while we rest, Irene said excitedly. Irene likes to make up stories, you know. Oh, I like stories, exclaimed Ilex Ibex. Well, began Irene, have you heard the story about the giant animal that lives behind the big lilac bush over there? Ilex Ibex looked at the big lilac bush where Irene I was pointing him. Ilex Ibex nodded, shook his head slowly. Uh, no, whispered Ilex Ibex. I have not heard that story. Well, said Irene point, uh, importantly, sometimes we think it's a wild tiger and sometimes we think it's a gigantic lion. Ilex Ibex's eyes grew wider and wider. Ilex Ibex didn't know Irene was making up this story. Irene was just about to make up some more of the story for Ilex Ibex when she heard, Irene! Irene! Irene's mother was calling her to come home. It's time for me to ride my bike home, Ilex Ibex announced Irene. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Turn in your pace to page 23. Here's Ilex. Where do you think he's riding? The lilac bush. What are those eyes? Look at his eyes. What do you think? Is Ilex scared? Who is that in the bush? Is it a tiger? Is it a gigantic lion? Oh my goodness. So Irene went home on her bicycle and Ilex Ibex sat and looked at the lilac bush. Finally, Ilex Ibex climbed on his bicycle. Ilex Ibex began to ride home too. Just as Ilex Ibex was riding by the lilac bush, Ilex Ibex saw two bright, shining eyes looking at him. <gasps> Ily, or I, Ilex Ibex squealed, Yikes! And Ilex Ibex started to ride home as fast as his little Ibex hooves could pedal. Then Ilex Ibex stopped. Those bright, shining eyes look like eyes that Ilex Ibex had seen before. Hmm. Those eyes belong to someone Ilex Ibex knew. Those eyes did not belong to a wild tiger or a gigantic lion. Ilex Ibex smiled a big, happy smile. Hmm. <gasps> We'll have to find out tomorrow. You'll have to come back tomorrow to find out whose eyes were those in the lilac bush. Bye. Stay tuned. Come back for the questions and vocabulary, my friends.